Hello, my name is Mauricio Salatino. I'm here at GoToArrows. I did a presentation two days ago about enabling, enabling developers on a multi-cloud world. I work for a company that's called Diagrid. We help developers to run applications in production on top of Kubernetes using tools like Dapper, like the one in my t-shirt. My presentation was all about the Kubernetes journey and that journey that it's not that easy, right? When you are adopting Kubernetes, you need to actually go through a set of challenges. First of all, learning as an individual, but then enabling other developers to understand how to work with it. I talk in my presentation about six different challenges that I think that all organizations are facing when, you're, when they are trying to adopt Kubernetes. And I start talking a little bit about what tools they can use in order to simplify that journey. Uh, most of these tools that I'm describing there, I'm also writing about in a book that's titled Platform Engineering on Kubernetes. And uh, my presentation tries to cover some of those tools in action. I did a couple of live demos showing some tools uh, that enable developers and platform teams to create platforms on top of Kubernetes. Two projects that I covered, one is called Crossplane, that enables you to create resources on different cloud providers using the Kubernetes APIs. And that's pretty interesting because you can actually reuse the Kubernetes APIs that were designed to run applications on top of Kubernetes to create resources on different cloud providers using a declarative way. So you can configure you know, AWS, Google, Azure, or any other cloud provider or any other external system and then use the declarative nature of the Kubernetes API to create resources on top of it. In my example, I created a new resource type that defined that it's called environment. So developers can send requests to this platform to create new development environments whenever they need it. Right? These environments are not just Kubernetes clusters, but they are also enabled with a bunch of tools that will make their life and their day-to-day -day work a little bit easier. Then I cover a bit uh, of a tool that is called B Cluster by Loft Labs, and they, what they do is they enable you to create cost-efficient clusters that doesn't push you to go and create a real cluster in a cloud provider. By doing that, you are saving money on basically just running Kubernetes, and, but at the same time, you're giving teams access to fully-fledged Kubernetes clusters, at least in their perspective, right? They can connect to a cluster and use it, install tool, tools into them without like, thinking about that they are paying a lot of money just to run Kubernetes. Once I finish on that section, they I cover two different topics that I believe that are really important into the cloud native space. One is enabling teams to experiment with different tools and techniques. And then the second one is defining platform capabilities. And that's pretty much it, trying to define where the platform boundaries are and what tools are we giving to our developers to use into their day-to-day -day work. For that section, I, talk, I start presenting about a project that's called Knative, that it's heavily associated with serverless downscaling workloads to zeros, which makes a lot of sense if you're building some kind of like functions as a service platform. Uh, and the second tool that I cover, it's this tool that it's called Dapper. And Dapper basically stands for Distributed Application Runtime. And it's a tool that enables application developers to interact with local APIs and separate the application code from infrastructure. So for example, if you want to store or read data from a database or an, an S3 bucket or a bucket that it's you know, distributed in, in the cloud, uh, you can actually, instead of depending on that infrastructure, you can interact with the local API that will give you access to these resources. In that case, what you're doing is you are removing the need for the application to have all the dependencies inside it. And uh, at the same time, you are decoupling the lifecycle of the infrastructure and the application. The main objective of doing that is to enable developers to keep releasing new versions and just keep releasing code, just deploying uh, stuff into their environments so they can keep upgrading, keep evolving their applications. At the same time, platform teams using these tools can do all the wiring and uh, connect all the dots on how the applications will work in different environments. So you can have different configurations for, like, let's say, a staging environment or the production environment. And because there is an abstraction layer there in the middle using the Dapper APIs, you can actually start swapping which infrastructure are you using. At the end of the day, this is all about which tools do you give developers and operations teams to use and how coupled all these tools are. The more that you decouple these, uh, these tools and the more that you add abstractions in the right place, the more that you can let these teams evolve and just move faster and deliver more software. That's quite, kind of like what my presentation is about. The same topic is like the one that I'm covering in my book, Platform Engineering for Kubernetes. And I'm always open to collaborate and you know, to you know, inter interchange ideas with people. So if you want to follow me at Twitter, at Salaboy, 
or check out my blog, salaboy.com. You know, you are always more than welcome to get in touch and we can work on something together. Thank you very much and I hope that you enjoy the presentation.